end of the European Le Mans series here at the Algarve International Circuit. I felt comfortable, had a good flow going on. Michael De Sector 1 and 2 was very, very good. Michael was immediately there from the beginning. As we get ready to go. One minute more on the grid. The four hours of Portimao gets underway now. And he found his rhythm quite quickly. He dealt with all the scenarios really, really well. He was not only aware of the traffic behind him, he was taking control of the traffic management to 100%. Up the inside of Michael Fassbender goes Rodrigo Salas. And he gets car turned in and stops efficiently. It's going to be neck and neck, but not quite. for Duquesne and also in avoidance the A1 racing Villorba Corsa number 18 car Alaska Ratos has absolutely destroyed the car Medic, via medic, via medic Pit entry is closed, we are under safety car leader to slow down, leader to slow down Safety car, big crash on the straight stay on the left Is everyone alright? There is movement in the cockpit, which is the happiest thing I've been able to say all day. And Andreas Lascaratos is able to get himself out of the car. That's the best news. Big accident coming out of the last corner. It was really a nasty crash. In the first moment I was really scared, but when we saw the driver of that car get out of the car and he was fine, yeah, it was almost a relief to see him walk away from that. We we'll wait and see what uh, we get from race control. Because of the impact and how big it was, that it would take quite a while to um, clean the track. He had to repair stuff, and it was a quite correct decision to to red flag the race. Red flag, all cars to line up on the start finish straight. Uh, you're currently P5, very good pace, very solid, no track limit at the moment, so very good. Eh, so good, gerade, unfassbar. To be honest with you, I was feeling good in the car at that point. For our strategy, it opened some more possibilities. We thought, now we really have a shot at finishing his driving time in one stint. But he's driving amazing, so yeah, yeah. we keep him in. He can now take a breath, and it does like, again, 40 minutes, and then we pull him out. You go in, Felipe, Felipe, has a plan. 10 minutes board on the grid. 10 minutes to resume the race behind the safety car. So we're getting back to this race. One minute board on the grid. So Rene, go away. Clear the grid immediately. We are resuming the race behind the safety car. For you, we try to go until the end of your driving time. Copy that. Information to pit line, safety car and street will be two fast laps and I remind you pit entry is closed. Tell him to be careful uh, in first lap. You will start with no temperature in the tires. At this moment it's important to stay away from the curb, to build up pressure and not push from the beginning because it's quite risky to get a tire damage. Michael, your brakes and tires are very cold, the pressure is very low, so you work with the tires and the brakes. Safety car lights out. The safety car is coming in at the end of this lap. A lot of this is going to be about the confidence you've got and the grip you've got available as these tires are getting back up to temperature. Sixty-six. Rodrigo Salas from a long way back will pull a manoeuvre on Michael Fassbender. start he was very very cautious but also at the same point it's so easy to risk the race and throw, throw everything away and uh, especially what he have done before 
was uh, the base for a good, a good result. We still knew that once he gets back into the rhythm, that he's capable of fighting all these guys. Michael, very good. Same pace as the front runner. point of view was tricky because we wanted Michael to finish his driving time but we knew that he wouldn't have enough petrol so we knew we have to bring him in at one point. I'm missing three four minutes. I do a bit of fuel but not so much but like five seconds. Michael around two left to go. Two left. Copy. In come all three the top three. And the 88 Ferrari then being turned around with the tyres as well. Michael Fassbender still yet to make his stop as well. Michael, box, box, box. Fuel only, fuel only. Okay, am I staying in the car? Yes. I think I'm very close to the box. In comes Michael Fassbender. Looking at the pit stop times, Michael Fassbender definitely short fueled the car. It was only in pit lane for 44 seconds. Rina Mastronardi was on pit lane for a minute and 17. When I came out of the pits and I saw Chris going down into turn one, I was like, oh wow, that was a really good strategy call. There was one car between Chris and myself before the pit stop. Then it was just about, you know, staying on the back of Chris's bumper and, you know, keeping him within striking distance. than him I felt like you know there was a, a couple opportunities to maybe overtake but I thought I'll just I'll just stay close to him and uh, I wasn't going to start attacking the sister car <laughs> on the last race of the season and when I saw Chris dive into the pits then I thought okay this is an opportunity now for me to really do a fast inlet you know I went as fast as I could is by far the best run we've seen from Michael Fassbender this year. So the fastest lap now. Michael, box is the box, box, the private change to Richie. Got it. Best Michael we've ever seen. Fuck oh, man, yeah. I mean, it was everybody was super emotional because he just drove on another level this weekend. That's Michael Fassbender. He's very pleased with that. He is, isn't I he? think that is the best we've seen. That was error free. Well done, sir. Dude, that was mighty impressive. Oh, that was yeah. fucking great. Thank you so much. This was amazing. Amazing. It was a really nice feeling coming back into the garage and you know seeing the crew that you know worked so hard now with us for the last two years. All the energy and hard work that you know all the mechanics and the engineers have put into each race weekend. Just uh, everybody was in a high. 
so fucking good, man. Honestly, that was like proper driving. Oh my god, I mean, that was. The traffic management was good. Huh? Amazing. When the first Ferrari came, I was like, no! And everybody was super pumped, also because we knew he brought the car back in one piece in the perfect track position. So we knew now the fight is on. an amazing job uh, in changing the tires really quick and we had a good uh, driver change everything was perfect because our pit stop was a little bit faster than the sister cars we ended up being in p2 after the stop behind you is open behind you is open richie rejoined the track now we're in p2 he was 12 seconds behind p1 what is the next time of the p1 sorry 423 423 <laughs> The first lap he did after that call was a 41 something. So I was like, whoa, second faster than a lead car. And then he just kept continuing putting in quick lap times. And then again, it was just another Richie masterclass. And such a joy watching him race because he's so fast and so smooth. seconds very quickly became five seconds to four to three now in three seconds to p1 and then he was battling for for first place I thought, okay, maybe he's just gonna stay behind him because he took it a little easier for one or two laps. Knowing Richie was just waiting for his perfect chance to get the overtake done. To the finish, side by side in GTE, and this is for the race lead. The 80 car of Matteo Cressoni and Ricard Leeds are nose to tail. He's just looking for a way by. Bender looking at his teammate Porsche for the class lead. The Lion leads up against Proton Competition, fainting to the inside line now and switching back again. God leads gets a partial overlap but not enough. At the moment, Matteo Cressoni is able to respond to the Austrian's pace. Leeds is trying all sorts of tricks into the outside of Sagresh corner, which should enable him to cut back tighter on the exit. But the speed of that Ferrari off turn 14 is very impressive. Fantastic traction. That Ferrari is super quick, isn't it? Leeds picks up a bit of a tow this time from Newman into the WRT car. Down through the gears goes Ricard Leitz. Squeeze the outside, but there's a bit of a wiggle over the kerbs there. Will that give him just an opportunity? Just a bit of momentum up the inside, becomes the outside. Up, 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 get, up, get! He's got it done. He's got it done. Beautiful move from Ricard Leitz. He did it after about four laps of parrying the leader. leading the race and, and looking pr pretty strong. And the three crews stand by for a pit stop in about two, three laps, three bumps. So when Felipe prepared, I just told him to take it easy, to enjoy and not to overthink his stint. I try at the beginning with the shoes to go on and then when it's cold, we push it. 
but I could tell he was a little on edge before he was getting into the car. I said no pressure from the team. Um, whatever happens, happens. This was the first time in our in our journey with Michael together where I felt this kind of pressure. No pressure, just enjoy yourself. Michael did a fabulous and amazing job. Just fantastic. Richie, as always, was able to catch the guys in front. Yeah, we were the leading car. And uh, now it was on me to, to deliver. I was really nervous because we were sitting in P1 and now, you know, we were not thinking about what can we do to get to the podium. Now we're actually thinking about what we shouldn't do not to lose the podium. So pressure was really on and this time we all had something to lose. And the 83 car that has come in from second position is also pitting. I was just waiting, be still in front or not. The Ferrari exited the pits and it was sort of a drag race down into turn one. They were racing side by side all the way into turn three and four. Track limit E1. Miguel Molina is the new driver into the 80 car. He's not going to be easy to pass. Molina managed to, to hold Felipe off and, and take back the lead. Felipe was just going crazy. I mean, he was like pushing as hell. Molina versus Laza. Now to the outside. Like, take it easy in the beginning, save your tires, and then we'll see what happens. And then... Mars are trying to pressurize Miguel Molinar into a mistake. He's getting very close, too close. There was contact there. Now he should save the tires as well, because Rai is coming as well. He's too pushing too much. It's 15 minutes to go. Think about the tires. Rai is coming from the back. This is going to become a three car battle very rapidly. It's gone crazy. Felipe was quite frustrated that we'd lost the position and he was driving the car pretty aggressively. All of us felt like overdriving the car and we, our main concern was that the tires would hold out for, you know, the, the hour stint. Track limit D1, just still track, drive sports. So anyway, if he pushes, he pokes the tires and never made it P3. Just held every single lap. We had already some blisters or some holes in the tires. We only can basically fuck it up if we have a tire puncture and lose the podium again. Track limit P1, no track limit anymore. P2 is perfect. I would sign for P2. GP, calm down. P2 is good at the moment. Keep thinking of real tires. No, no, all good. Not all good. 30 minutes to go. Once Felipe started to put on consistent lap times and just focus on our race instead of racing the Ferrari in front, they quickly gained on the Ferrari behind us. Gap two, three, very stable, peace is good, keep doing this, smooth, smooth. You could see that Felipe started driving the car more smoothly. I think, you know, he made peace with himself in the car that we were just going for P2 and that we didn't have to chase down the leader. 16 laps to go. Here, 83 and 13. Car 83 drive through penalty for a contact with car 13. They got a drive through penalty and all of a sudden our gap to P3 was 40 seconds. This is an interesting moment for Michael Fassbender because this is another part of the picture. This is a team that's beginning to perform and all of a sudden he's got the anxiety of seeing a real result emerge in front of him. Gap to P3 is 40 seconds. No risk. Six laps to go. I'm getting my position coming from the rear. Vibrations, vibrations. After P3 is 40 seconds, no risk. Oh, guys, they're coming by position from the rear. You could really hear in his voice that it was something that was concerning him, that he thought 
maybe the car isn't going to make it to the end of the race. Uh, it's it's it to be a strange. His voice was shaking. How many laps to go? Four laps. Just survive. Felipe survives. He gave me 40 seconds to be survive. I saw I have to come in to 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 um to get a new tire. I need four mechanics to maybe change the tire. Rear left tire. Oh go what up? Go. Try to survive. Everybody looked at me and it was just like we keep going, we're not pitting. Last quarter take speed. Last quarter take speed out. Good, two laps to go, two laps to go. We are safe, huh? we are safe because uh, I will need to stop it. Felipe, shut up and drive. We are in the last lap of the European Le Mans series of 2021. Felipe, this is the last lap, last lap. Just bring the car home, I will be too. when you go home and another time without a podium or without a good finish. All the disappointments and close calls. Alter, so schön. So schön. Good, oder? Oh, man. Everyone in the team needed that podium. Everybody was happy. Everybody, every mechanic, every engineer. Finally, brother. Put in so much hard work every race weekend. You know, they, they deserved it. It was a way of thanking the team. Seeing um, a crazy idea succeeding after two years, after a lot of desperate moments, was, was the, right, the right way to end the season. Woo! I mean, you did it, huh, today? Oh, yeah. It was your job. We needed it to give us the confidence to go forward now and know that we can be in the mix. Really proud of you. Oh, thanks, brother. Thanks for everything, man. Fuck, we made it. We made it. At this point, everybody has invested so much time, so much effort. It just means the world to so many people. And it's more than just a dream. It's something that's very achievable and realistic at this point. Everything is becoming now the way it should be and uh, 
with these engineers, these mechanics, this driver lineup, I'm not scared to race against anybody. This is where the, the road has been leading us and next year um, is the year that we go to Le Mans.